Hey there, everybody. Z here, coming at you live through the power of the Per Lemon SEO channel. Yesterday, we discussed some key terminologies and wording that you will run into as you enter the world of web dev and SEO. I hope you did your research. Those terms are going to become very important real soon. Today, we'll be taking a look at Bob's new world once more and just go through some of the things you'll run into on the dashboard for a fresh installation of WordPress. We'll also be covering what all of this over here means, what this is, and some of these key important little sections over here. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much depth. I recorded this and then lost it, which is kind of annoying, but you know what? It is what it is. All right, so let's begin. First and foremost, when you log into your WordPress website for the first time, you will run into the dashboard. This over here is basically where everything is going to be at a glance, basically. Right. So usually on a website that's fully operational and running up here, you maybe get an alert of, let's say, a plugin that's being needs to be updated. Some updates need to be done. All of that will appear up here. Right. Down here is a general breakdown of your website, your site health at a glance, which basically shows you how many pages and posts are currently here, as well as what version of WordPress is running and the theme that you are currently using. Activity down here will show you your recent posts and your recent changes. A quick draft is just something that you type in, hit, uh, hit save draft, and basically just to get something out there for you. It won't be posted to your page. It's a draft, all right? But it's not something that we usually use. Usually we go through the pro proper processes for that. Sorry, tongue twisting. Then finally, we have this over here. You can ignore this. I've never really used this, and I don't really know anybody that does. Okay, so... First and foremost, when you get onto this page here, first thing you want to do, just shrink down all of this. These are excellent to use, but they aren't always absolutely needed and can sometimes be very annoying if you know what you're doing after a while. If you remove these over here, you'll just see that something like this props up. You can just drag and drop these wherever you want them to um, if you need them, okay? Then at the top over here, we have screen options. This is basically just allows you to change up what you want to see on this page here. As you go more and more in depth, you can change this up. But for now, it's very basic. Then it also tells us about what version of WordPress we're currently running. This should be the most up-to-date version that we can install right here. We'll just dismiss that for now. And now everything is nice and clean. If you are somebody who's going to be looking at the website constantly, you can keep it like this. Otherwise, pardon, I will just keep it like this. Then at the top here, we've got your profile page, basically where you can edit your profile, you can log out, you can go to your profile, all of that stuff happens up here. You've got a quick new tab over here, basically allowing you to create a new post, new media save, page, or a user at an instant. Up here is the comments. Basically, if you have comments on your website, you can just click on here and see how many comments are here. This over here is basically just a quick landing site for certain things. Right now, it'll take you to your homepage or your set homepage. So don't worry about that for now. This will expand on later on. Then we have the dashboard over here, which is obviously uh, home and updates. Then we have our posts page. Now posts are basically what you're going to be doing the most of on your website once it's been updated. They play a huge role in SEO as this is basically where most of our changing mouthful content will be pasted, okay? Over here, we have bulk actions. Basically, if you have many posts, you need to do the same thing too. Just click on there, do whatever you need to, and then click apply. We've got all dates. Basically, if you're filtering by dates, categories, which we'll add on later, very important for SEO, and then the filter over here if you just want to filter everything. All right. Then we have over here the search bar, as well as this over here. If you go to screen options now, you'll see you're able to view a number of items per page. If you're working with learner management systems and you have to work through a lot of views at the same time or the results at the same time, if you're going through plenty of posts for editing or auditing, this is an excellent tool here. Increase this to about as much as you want. I usually leave it at 50 to 100, depending on what I'm doing. Then we have the title column. Basically, this will give you the quick title of your page or your post, sorry. The author who wrote it. Category, which is going to be very important when you're getting into niches and SEO. Tags, also very important for SEO. How many comments or if it has any comments, as well as the date it was published and the time. Then we have the add new over here, basically just creating that. If we go to categories, here's where you can add categories. Basically a slug over here, which is basically like 
the URL friendly version of the name. All right, that's for SEO over there. Your list of categories, how many um, category, how many posts there are in that, a description if you want to add one, if there is a parent category, and then over here, you'll just do all that. We'll go through this in more detail later. And then there are tags, basically uh, tags that you will be adding to all of your posts. Media, media is very important. This is basically where all the images, videos, and the like that we are using on our website will reside. There are several things to, to note here, which we'll go through in a lot more depth later on. But for now, just know that the media is where everything is going to be um, in terms of what it is you'll be saving on your website. This is the add new, we won't be doing that right now. Then we have the pages. The pages are probably the main skeleton of your website, right? The pages control basically everything else that you need to know about your website. So for example, a home page, the about us page, the contact us page, the who we are page, the team page, all of these things play an important role and are basically the cornerstone of the structure of your website. They're very important for Google and SEO. When Google does crawls, we'll go through that, don't worry. But for now, just know that this is where you're going to be spending a lot of time when you're setting up the initial stages of your website. You've got your comments, right? You can see there's no comments found because I deleted this in my previous recording. You can restore it quite easily. So you can just restore here, mark it as spam or permanently delete. Okay. Basically, sometimes you'll get those spam comments that I'm sure you've seen online. They will basically appear here from all of the different, different, um, different forums and comment sections of your website you'll see the, if there is a response to it and when it was submitted this is basically really good to have everything at basically zero um, but that's up to you to decide most people just leave it and delete the spam um, it's a good thing to moderate this as well for a good user experience all right then we have appearances now appearances are broken down into themes and editor basically almost all wordpress websites are both using a theme a theme comes with uh, certain kinds of design elements and styles all right currently we have a theme on here i'm not sure which one but you can see this is our current theme if we wanted to change that theme and let's go to edit it for example let's edit this theme and we go to styles this is going to be a live demonstration of the page we go to styles and we click this for example this will appear if we click this this will appear if we click this this will appear this is just an easy way for you to edit the website as is needed um, we're actually just going to go back to the page. So themes and editors, we'll get into later. They are theme boulders like Elemental, Divi, and Oxygen. That's all for later. For now, just know that themes are going to be a really easy way to help you build up the style or the thematic and the atmosphere of your website. Then we have plugins. Plugins are very, very important. They are basically like these little additional add-ons to your website. If your website was basically Legos, these plugins are special little Legos that makes your other Legos do different things. Um, things like Elemental, the theme builder, is a plugin. There are several plugins for my new things, for capturing forms, for just improving the general usability of your website. Now, it is also very important for you to know that plugins can be dangerous for your website if not handled correctly. We'll go into more detail with that later on, but for now, just know that if your website has too many plugs, plugins, Something's going to break. It's going to be very sluggish and it's going to be very slow. Then you have your user tab here where you add, you can see all your users, add a new user, and you can edit profiles. Tools, basically these are just some quick tools, plugins, expand on this. But if you want to import a website, export it, general site health, you want to export personal data, erase personal data, you want to edit the theme file, or you want to edit the plugin file, they're all here, and finally settings. We'll go into each of these later on, but for now, it's general writing, reading, discussion, media, permanence, and privacy. These are very, very important in terms of the general um, aesthetic and SEO of your website, but we'll go into more of that later. Now, for your exercise at home, if you have installed um, local, and if you have followed along so far, I'd like you to actually go to the theme builder, and let me just expand this one for more, month more and just go and edit it and click around find a style that you like we probably won't be sticking with it for very long but just go around and see what the different things are here explore have fun just take a look at everything all right so you can see all of these things just just go out there and play around it's the best way to um, learn more and just have fun with it okay thank you all for your time i hope you liked if you did like comment and subscribe and I'll be seeing you all tomorrow. Cheers, guys.